Welcome to Myrtle's Detox and Wellness Spa. Today we're going to be talking about organic versus inorganic fruits or non-organic fruits. When you go to the store, there's a way you can tell whether a fruit has, fruit has been grown um, organically or not. There's usually a sticker on the fruit and on that sticker is a number. All right, so you're going to look for the number and depending on what the number begins with, it tells you whether the fruit is organic or not. For example, this one has a four in it. Tells you that it's not organic. If it had a nine, then you know that it is. Okay, let's check the orange. Same here with the orange. Okay, see the number, if it starts with a three or four, we know that it's not organic. Sometimes they don't even put a label on it, but if it's organic, normally they would say. So, what do you do with the fruits that are not organic? I'm looking for another one here. Okay, these are a lot of fruits that were given to me and I do not want to throw them away. So, what we can do, look at this one here. Huge, lovely apple, but it also says 4137, which means it's not organic, All right? So what we're gonna do, we are going to place some baking soda, sodium bicarb, pure baking soda, into a bowl with some water, okay? Some good clean water. And to that, we are going to put some lemon. Okay, so we have some lemons here. And you keep applying lemon until you see bubbles. Let's put another one. Okay, I think that's enough. And then into the bowl, we are going to put our fruits. And we're gonna have them soak in there, minimum of a half an hour to an hour, or even longer. This is going to help to remove some of the wax and the pesticide and the different stuff that you do not want to enter your body. All right, put this big one here, take off the labels. I should have given this a good stir before I put more in. Okay, it's all dissolved. Okay, the same thing here. All right, so like I said, I want to go ahead and put them in. I'm going to add some more water to this once I'm finished. Now, this is sad because I, mean, I love fruits. And just to know that all of these are not organic is very sad. All right. So into another bowl, we have some berries as well. And I'm going to place some more of the baking soda into this bowl and then place some more lemon into it as well. All right. I'll give it a stir. And in this bowl, we have berries now these berries they didn't say organic or non-organic and they don't have on that fruit label all right so i'm going to assume that they're not organic so i'm going to go ahead and pour the berries into the water we have blueberries we have blackberries we have raspberries
And lastly, we have strawberries. But with the strawberries, we have a serious problem. Most of them are actually starting to decay. Okay? And pick them up, and they're no good. Let's see if we can put them down in front of the camera so you have a few of them while I do this. Okay, so that's two, no good. Three, no good. It's a shame that, you know, stores will be selling these things and they're no good. I've just only gotten these a few hours ago. Not even a day, okay? Not even six hours. And the majority of them are no good. Look at that one, it's no good. All of those are gonna end up in my compost. In my Bocacci compost. If you do not know what Bocacci compost is, just go ahead and surf my site and you will see how to make it. There's another one. So basically this file here is, this is sad, this is sad. You know, because someone spent a whole bunch of money on this and they're no good. So those of you out there making fruit baskets, make sure you pick up proper fruits and if the fruits are old, do not put them in the basket. You're just making waste for somebody else to deal with. All right. So as you see, the majority of them were no good. That's rotten. So is that one and that one. So here we have it. Out of a pack of strawberries, we only got a couple. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. And all of these were actually rotten. Okay? So we have two. That's five. Seven. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. That were no good. We have to now put in the garbage. All right, so into our bowl here, we have our solution with our berries. And I'm gonna leave them to soak for about a half an hour. And we're gonna come back and rinse them off and then have them rinse and dry. And I'm gonna put them in the freezer once I do that because it doesn't seem like these are gonna last very long. Okay. Some of these still may need to cut up. All right, so that's how you clean your fruit. And so we're gonna add some more water to this one. So here we go. Oops. You wanna keep the water level as high as possible to cover the fruit. So. All right. So there you have it. Today we talked about organic versus inorganic. And then we talk about a way that we can use to help to clean out some of the wax and some of the parasites and pesticides off of our fruit. Unfortunately, I'm going to be peeling these fruits before I use them. Even though I've cleaned them, I'm still not confident that you know, I want to eat the skin. All right, so that's the difference for me with organic and inorganic. Look for the numbers. If the number has a three or a four, it's not organic. You want to look for a eight or a nine. The number begin with an eight or a nine. All right, so coming to you from Myrtle's Detox and Wellness Spa. Be safe in your eating and do have a wonderful day. Be sure to like, share, Subscribe or put on that notification bell so that future episodes can be uploaded to your phone or your computer as soon as they come out. Do have a blessed day.